Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. It's time for a history lesson. See this book? This is the Acadia Students' Union Handbook. It's like a diary or schedule or planner or whatever you call it. I think the cover's pretty awful, but there's a lot of useful information inside, including a brief history of Wolfville. So, let me share with you the history of Wolfville. The first known settlers to this area were these people. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, they arrived somewhere around 700 AD. Then French people settled here in the 1680s, and they were called French Acadians. Then in 1755, the British kicked out the Acadians. And between 1759 and 1760, lots of planters settled here. I don't know what they were planting, but it says here they were planters. And the community became known as Mud Creek because there was a muddy creek, I guess. Then in 1830, the name was changed to Wolfville, and the name comes from the family name, De Wolf. It says here that De Wolf families were prominent and numerous in this area. So there you go. When I first heard the name Wolfville, I thought it must have been named that because there are a lot of wolves in this area, but no. Kia ora. in stick news today, there is now an official anti-bullying day in Nova Scotia. The second Thursday of the school year has been named Stand Up Against Bullying Day. On the day, students are being asked to wear pink. A teenage boy in Cambridge, Nova Scotia, wore a pink polo shirt on his first day of school this year. He was harassed for wearing the shirt. People called him a homosexual and threatened to beat him up. Two students heard about the bullying and decided to take action. CBC News reported they went to a nearby discount store and bought 50 pink shirts. They then emailed classmates and asked them to wear the shirts to support their anti-bullying cause, which they called their Sea of Pink campaign. The next day, dozens of students wore the pink shirts and hundreds more wore their own pink clothes. When the bullied student arrived at school to see the students wearing pink, his classmates said it was a powerful moment. Definitely it looked like there was a big weight lifted off his shoulders. He went from looking right depressed to being as happy as can be. The school principal was proud of his students. He said, you're always hearing about the youth of the world and how bad things are. Well, they're not that bad. Now, the second Thursday of the school year has been officially recognised as Stand Up Against Bullying Day by the Nova Scotia government. The Premier, a former teacher, is encouraging students to wear pink on the day and he says he was impressed by the students who started the campaign. I've seen circumstances as a teacher where students can make a difference and this is one of those times when students have made a difference. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 27th of September. Kia ora. No idea. <laughs> Probably when the founder of this great uh, town came about. Pretty sure a wolf attacked him and he just decided to call Wolf Phil because he battled that wolf so badly that it was just left within forever. So he thought that he would like to name this great, great, great village after the wolf that had attacked him. Acadians different from Quebecois? How many Acadians are there? And they all live in Nova Scotia? Where's that? So lots of people there speak French. But it's different from Quebec French. Yeah, they're both descendants of people from France, but they settled in different areas of Canada, so the culture's different. Uh, it says here in Wikipedia there are uh, 380,000. No, most of them live in New Brunswick. It's the province next to Nova Scotia. 
Yeah, it says 35%. Yeah, it's Acadian French. Wolfville was named after A, a wolf, B, a creek, C, a family name. C. Wolfville used to be called A, Wolf Creek, B, Mud Creek, C, Dawson's Creek. B. In 1755, the British kicked out A, the Acadians, B, the Germans, C, the Kiwis. A. Most Acadians now live in A. New Brunswick, B. Nova Scotia, C. Prince Edward Island. A. Acadian French is A. The same as Quebec French, B. Different from Quebec French, C. The same as Kiwi French. B. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.